welcome my name is Prue or Prue Luru and today I'm doing a eye comparison look where on one side is one palette and the other is another palette I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Alyssa Edwards palette and the Huda Beauty Electric Obsessions so I thought this would be a really fun comparison to do when I was doing my first impressions video I did say that I thought a lot of the colors in the Alyssa Edwards palette are also in the Huda Beauty Electric Obsessions palette. This is slightly cheaper palette than the Anastasia one. But I mean, they're still both high-end brands. Anyway, so these are the two palettes sort of compared together. These are the palettes I've used to create the look today. I did pull into the Huda Beauty Sapphire Obsessions just because I wanted to use the blue from the Liz Edwards palette. And as you can see, that's underneath my eye. So I'm gonna take you through the look right now. I hope you enjoy. I hope you take a guess. Feel free to guess now. Guess as we go along. I'm curious to see what you think. I can't wait. Normally I will just choose to show you the side that looks the best from the like the way I filmed or the way I hold my head. But today I'm going to show you both colors. So it's going to be interesting. I'm going to use the same brushes on both eyes, but I will clean them off with my color. Like well, this is the one from AliExpress with this little sponge that gets all the color off. So we're not mixing. This is so weird because usually I show you what I'm using as well. I need a mirror. Nondescript. Just use Tarte. So I'm just using this pink and bringing this up and through and about. Cleaning the brush off. Oh, I can't even go back and fix it. Usually I like go in between both eyes and come back in here and there. I guess I shouldn't even show you if I tap them because like uh, is one more pressed than the other but I really want to know what you think which side is which yet all right so for the outer corner I'm gonna just put a uh, the darker it's like a purple tinged color in and I'm gonna do that triangle business that I tend to do so that it's nice and I don't know I just don't really like the idea of putting tape on my eyes I know a lot of people swear by it and it does look all right <laughs> And then going in with the other palette, I've cleaned the brush off again. And then blowing this in. So what I was aiming to do is try and bring it in line with my bottom of my eye, like there. And then just kind of blend it out. I've been super into this, I don't know, I've just been seeing really like expertly blended out matte looks on Instagram lately. And every time they come up, I'm like, ooh, so pretty. All right, then we have the shimmer so then let's not cut the crease today uh, and for this I'll use two two brushes that are very similar and I'm just going in with this purple shimmer just tap that out to make it a little bit more blended I'm just gonna give it a spritz oh I got it on my mirror All right, and then the other palette, the other brush. I'm not starting out with the spritz initially. Oh, it's just the way my hand holds things. No, this one's just not picking up as easy on the brush. A spritz. There we are, we're getting some of that. I'm so curious as to which one you think's which right now. Alright, and because we can, and they both have a yellow, we're going yellow in the inner corner right now. Where do we go? 
I do want to minimize my brush cleaning later. So the same brush, yellow again. I'm sorry, I don't know. Um, let me know if there's like a way that I should show you better which side is which. I've just got one palette on one side and one on the other side and that's how I'm remembering what shades go over which. Like which ones are going which eye. But I mean, I'm not on any of these PR lists or anything to do with any of these, I have no reason to lie about anything. And I'm doing this for my own amusement and hopefully your amusement too. The blue and the hue to beauty palette. I'll show you. We'll give it away a bit, which eyes which. But I do have the sapphire. And there's a blue in here that's very similar to Dream It from the Anastasia Alyssa Edwards one. But, and let me just show you. Oh. So these are the two from the palettes. I've just been dying to use Dream It and Blue. I've been feeling blue. <laughs> like, I've just been wanting to play with blue desperately. So I'm going to go in with the blue. I hope that's okay. And I'll just use this under my eye. So let's go in with the blue for the other side. Let's finish up. We've got yellow on the inner line, but we've also got blue. I think I'm gonna go in with this like lavender sh shade today. But this is NYX Faux White and this is White Smoke. <laughs> All right, so let me go put on mascara and will I do liner? Maybe just a dash of liner and I'll be back. <laughs> All right, so I got the NYX Epic Liner, the Australia Stamp It, Benefit Bad Girl Vang. So Annette, are you happy? I uh, finally own Bad Girl Vang in the full. So I went a bit crazy with the wing. Uh, it started on this side and then it, it just sort of kept happening. So I tried to even it out. I don't think it's really happened, but it's cool. It's all right. Let's give you a good look. So put in your final guesses now on which side you think is Huda Beauty and which side you think is Anastasia. So the Anastasia, the Anastasia Lifts Edwards palette is now launched on Sephora online. Should be in store soon. I don't know when. I did ask them. It's going for $83 Australian. Uh, so the Huda Beauty mini palettes go for $48 Australian. Nine shades and it equals about $5.30 per shade. This palette in particular is $83 Australian. Usually they're $76. So this makes it $5.90 per shade. Now. At what point do I do which side is which side? Or do I like make you guess? Well, I don't have no computer page tab. So, and I'm not very good at like drumming it up. <laughs> I'm sorry. The left side is Huda Beauty. And the right side is Anastasia Beverly Hills. Well, like this side is this side. Because for you, I'm twisted. Anyway, I'm, I'm like not the best at left and right anyway. So I guess I should show you some swatches. I've just been like messing around in the back of my hand all day. I'm just gonna put some concealer down. So did you get it right? What do you think? Now I know this essentially is like two high-end brands versus each other because Huda Beauty still is that. But I don't really have that many shades that are similar to the Anastasia Belly Hills one in drugstore. But is this something you'd like to see more of? Because I'm more than happy to do that. Anyway, let's swatch these shades that I used. So this is the one that went on the outer corner. And in Anastasia, I used Unicorn Trap. So here to Anastasia. Then I used this shade and I used it in comparison with Texas Made. So Texas Made and the pink. The inner corner, obviously I used the yellow. Here to Anastasia. Then that purple glimmer. What's this one? So this is it in Huda and this one is in the Anastasia. 
I actually think like there is small differences on my eye with the shimmer, but they look pretty damn close. Whereas when swatched next to each other, they look a bit different. And then the blue, just because I've been dying to use Dream It, I got my Huda Beauty Sapphire Obsessions and I just used this blue down here. And I put that next to Dream It. So there we are. Those are the shades that I utilized. And some of them do look quite different on the hand, but I think on the eye, they actually look pretty damn similar. And I don't think I would be able to guess. What do you think? Is this something that you liked seeing me do? Or do you want me to do it again? Um, did you get it correct? I'd love to know. Uh, thank you so much for coming along for this little journey. I really appreciate it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. I absolutely appreciate and adore you. Thank you so much. Uh, if you feel like subscribing, I would really appreciate it. Mwah. Thank you.